Okay, hello and welcome. Um, in this show, I'm going to just install Eclipse. So basically, we will go to the um, Eclipse download site, and here it is. And I'm going to um, install um, the latest and the greatest. So I really already done that, and here it is in my home downloads folder. So let's just drop into a terminal, and let's let's clear this out first. And let's change into the downloads folder. Okay. And we see that I have the um, file right here. So all we need to do is just untar it or unpack it. And we will use the zip extract verbose so we can see everything into a folder and this file. Okay. And there it goes. It's just like the matrix. It's downloading. Anyway, of course not downloading, it's un unpacking. Let's clear this. And we see that it's created the um, Eclipse folder. So, the next thing I want to do is I want to make a directory. And I'm going to call it, um, I'm going to put it in the Home folder. And we'll call it Programs. Okay. Now, I call this folder programs because this is where I'll, I will be manually installing my programs uh, that I do from zip, tar, or installations from downloads, basically. But most of the time, I will be installing applications like Apache PHP using the apt-get utility. So, the sidebar. The apt-get utility, one more time. Basically, the util I don't know. Can you, can you read up here? Yeah, it's it's a simple command interface for downloading and installing packages that are most frequently used. Okay, in fact, let's sort of use it right now. This is sort of I guess a sidebar. Um, the other way that I, I normally um, install applications is by using the Synaptic Package Manager, and if you can't talk and type at the same time, first thing that we want to do is we'd want to update our app get cache and it's asking me for a password so I'll give it to it and it hits all the um all of these repositories and just updates its list okay after we've done the update we want to install synaptic for synaptic package manager and it says it asks me if I want to continue and I say of course it does and notice that it didn't ask me for um, sudo password the second time because I've already given it to it once. Once I become sudo um, during the, the session, I can um, use uh, sudo commands without re being be repumped for the password. Mm -hmm. So now we have synaptic install. And now if we touch, type over here, sorry, we see the synaptic package manager. Here it asks us for me to authenticate, and in the Synaptic Package Manager, um, yeah, let's continue to show this. Um, you pick a package like, well, for example, Eclipse. But I'm not going to um, I'm not going to install Eclipse from here because it doesn't give you the um, the latest and the greatest version of Eclipse. But you can install other applications here. In fact, while we're here. Here's another sidebar. We're going to install Java um, 6 and 7. You can install multiple packages. So I'm, whoops, Java. And let's maximize this window so I can see what I'm looking for. Uh, open JDK. Open JDK um, 6 is already installed. So let's get the Open JDK 7. And we'll mark that. So now I'll have. Um, Six and seven installed. Is that what I want? Yeah, GRE is what basically what we want. And we have six and seven installed. Yes. Okay. So we're just going to install um, these highlighted lime green ones. In fact, when we apply, it'll give us a list of items that we are installing. And we're installing all these, and we apply them. And we can even watch it happen as it goes, and it's pretty fast, pretty easy too. But 
again I'm not installing Eclipse from here because um, you don't get the latest and the greatest and since we've already downloaded it um, the Eclipse I don't know what it's called but it's Eclipse 4 um, we will install that let this finish up and I always like to look at the details and this is what it's doing and it's done very simple very 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 simple so that's how you use synaptic and that's how you use aptigate <laughs> we, we created a directory called program so let's change into that directory actually before we do that we're in the downloads directory and we just unzipped it so what we need to do is we need to move the um, file the Eclipse folder and we want to move that to the my home directory and it's the um, programs right and we're going to move it into the file called Eclipse okay that should work I don't know if I need the second Eclipse or not actually let's, yeah, let's remove it that way and there so now if we go into pro, um, programs anyway to explain um, and the reason why it's sort of light pink is um, this it's not executable right now we can't execute it so we're going to use the I started off by saying that change mod utility is something that protects you. So when you program this, when you download these programs, they're only readable and they don't execute. So we need to change the status of the file for the both the users and the file to execute this file. And we do that by using a utility called change mod or CHMOD. I hope I was making sense on that. I'll probably come back and do a show on on chain mod because it's so important and I like to call this lucky 777 and we're going to work it on Eclipse okay so when we do that and there's also an executable inside called Eclipse so we'll ex we'll do that and now we can run this copy and Eclipse is running. So anyway, that's the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. We went through AppGit, Synaptic Package Manager, TAR, and a little bit about ChangeMon. So there's a lot of stuff in here. We got a little useful stuff. Hit the like button just because it's so good. Talk to you later. Peace, love.